Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Flip Sky VX2. Let's talk about this remote. This is continuation of my videos on VX2 by Flip Sky. So, credit is there where it is due. Mm, I think that's how you say it. Well, all the English blogs out there will uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, what I have to uh, mention is that I have uh, bought myself uh, the VX2 Flip Sky uh, probably about uh, well close to uh, two months ago now, and only now I've got it to work for myself. I had a bit of an issue; uh, the wheel was not responding, and I got myself two of them. A the original one that was sent to me when I bought it, and the second one that was sent to me when I did uh, prove them that it did not work. So, uh, Philips Sky is quite a good company. I'm not going to complain about them at all. I'm using the uh, Philips Sky 6.6 Plus on my Beast and it's doing a great job. Uh, unfortunately, I was unlucky one when uh, the first remote was sent to me, the wheel did not work. So this is the continuation. Uh, I couldn't get it to work at all. Uh, to everyone else who is out there struggling with this remote, try uh, doing the calibration of your remote five, six, seven times in a row. And then sometimes it does work. I ended up swapping the wheel from one remote, not working this one here, uh, to this one that was sent to me as a replacement. Uh, to mention, it's definitely important to mention that the customer service of uh, Flip Skype was really good to me. I'm not sure if that's because I'm a YouTuber and I can speak out there and people will listen. Hope not. Hope they treat everyone else uh, the same way. And uh, replies on emails is quick, sometimes within 15-20 minutes. Brilliant. Uh, I would like to cover some options or how would I say? on a desk, on a bench, uh, performance options of this remote. So what makes this remote a bit different is that it does have quite a nice and large screen. It's not very bright. And I know these guys are coming out with a newer version, a fully uh, colored screen, uh, not just a bluey kind of toned screen. Uh, well, that could be cool. But if that's going to cost you a much more money than this one here, which I believe cost me uh, 100 and I would say 30 all in total delivered to UK, that's with the uh, postage and also with the uh, uh, duty charge I have to pay when you get stuff delivered from China. So it's a wheel operated remote. And you go forward, and your wheels go forward. You stop, and then, which is nice, your wheels spin back. So pretty much if you are on a steep hill, the board does not just stop, but also uses the power of the battery and pulls you back away from the G-force that is pushing you down. That is quite nice. So, this remote is really nice and ergonomic in your hand, definitely. Watch my video, by the way, the video number 01, unboxing. So, feel is really nice, it's kind of rubbery, uh, it sits nicely in your hand. Uh, you can see the uh, distance you traveled on your screen right here. You can also see amperage that you are drawing when you are riding, which is quite interesting. I just took my board. By the way, this is the uh, Flex 2.0 on steroids. Take a look in my videos, guys. I will leave the, uh, the video link in the description below. This is a stock board which I have upgraded, and this is now exactly what it should have been from the start with. Anyway, so when you run your board, you do get a uh, speed reading on your screen, which is nice. Amps that your board is taking at the moment, which is nice. It gives you the trip monitor as well, which is nice. It gives you the battery of the remote life and also the battery life 
of your board. You have to program it all in settings, which is quite easy when remote works. So this one is the working remote. Now, you also do have high, medium and low settings of the speed. I don't really know if it's going to work or not, because this is now medium, this is now low. I think the top speed will be exactly the same and the power same, it's just the response of the wheel will be different. I'm going to test this all out guys. I have just finished this board right here, she's still charging. I've just taken it out for like, I think a mile just to see if it works. So, first impressions of the remote uh, performance. So remote does operate really smoothly. So if you hit the forward or the throttle, it does not really kick in straight away. On the bench, it's a little bit different. You have to try it on actual roads because that's where all the resistance and your weight takes place and it, it's different. So it's quite smooth. The brakes are smooth. Right now I've got it set up at minus 40 amp. I think I might increase it a little bit, but for someone who is just wants to like enjoy a smooth ride, just carve a little bit, this is nice. This remote is not going to throw you off the uh, board. But again, when we talk about uh, remotes, it's also got to do with EC uh, that you're using on your board. I am using dual uh, Matex 6.8. These are the ECs, which are replicas or ECs based on uh, VESC, original VESC 6.0. And together with this remote, they're working really nice. I'm going to put them through a quite extensive uh, testing. So far, so good. Really smooth, no disconnects, nice braking, really smooth uh, throttle curve, and really nice and smooth braking curve with a uh, an option of rolling backwards, which is nice. Another nice option about this remote is if you're traveling at the speed you want, you have to at the same time hit the power button of the remote and it goes on to the cruise control and keeps the speed constant. I'm not sure if it's going to be as smooth as Tramp wants. By the way guys, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, Take a look on my channel. I've got a Tramp of Wands uh, videos, reviews, upgrades, updates, and all the rest of the stuff. And actually, just notice only one wheel is spinning on the cruise control. That is a strange one. But anyway, I'm going to test this remote fully. This is just uh, a video to update you guys. Got it working. It does feel nice, but I need to test it fully see if there's any disconnects or not. So far, so good. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. Check the rest of the videos out on my channel. Hope uh, you find things you're looking for. If not, let me know. And I will always send you across to the video you're after. Ride safely. See you very soon.